Hello, this is Systems of Linear Equations and Inequalities, solving systems of linear equations in three variables, example three. Uh, here's the system that uh, I have to solve, and just like in example one and two, I'm going to proceed by eliminating a variable in the first two equations, and then try to eliminate the same variable in the second uh, two equations. So looking at the first two equations, well, if I just add these two up, the z uh, disappears. It adds to zero, so let's do that. We'll have 2x plus 2y equals 4. Um, now, uh, this equation uh, is divisible by 2. So um, why work with that equation? We'll work with x plus y equals 2. That's just dividing both sides of the first equation by 2. So there's one of the equations I'm going to work with. Um, now uh, I need to work with the second two equations and eliminate the z from the second two equations. So um, here if I add these two equations together the z disappears. So here I'm left with uh, 3x plus 3y equals 6. And this th equation is divisible by 3, so I wouldn't want to work with that one. Uh, I would work with x plus y equals 2. Gee, that sounds familiar. So here, um, I got equivalent equations. So if I try to solve these two equations, uh, x plus y equals 2, that has many solutions. So um, because this system has many solutions, our original system has many solutions. So um, let's say you didn't figure all that out. Let's say that uh, you tried to solve, you had 2x plus 2y um, equals 4. And you also had 3x plus 3y uh, equals 6. And now you're going to try to solve this set of equations. Well, we would multiply the first one. I'll multiply the first one times negative 3 and the second one times positive 2. See, uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to eliminate the x. And uh, if I multiply this one times 3, I get 6. If I multiply this one times 2, I also get 6. That's 6x, six of course. And uh, if I make one of them negative, then when I add it together, uh, it adds to 0. So let's do that. I'll multiply this top one times negative 3. So I have negative 6x minus 6y. Uh, equals negative 12. And now if I'm multiplying the bottom one by 2, so that's 6x plus 6y equals 12. So um, now uh, when I add these two equations together, this adds to 0, this adds to 0, and this adds to 0. So I get an identity. 0 equals 0, and it's true, therefore the, uh, this system of equations is going to have many solutions. So the, the answer that you would write down is many solutions.